actually, we're heading to the future. No, we're heading to another planet. No, we're heading to the future again. Darby, where no trouble has gone before. Space, the final frontier. These are the current adventures of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Their 25-year mission is to seek out new life, new worlds, and new flavors of pizza for them to satisfy their hunger. You know what? I can actually see that. A parody of Star Trek being done by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Really? I can see that. I'd say yes. Don't beat me up with tuning forks. Wow. The evil Shredder Empire. The Krangons of Dimension X. Ensign Splinter, make it so. Of course, uh, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm actually playing careful this time. Of course, could I possibly see Leonardo? Damn it. Could I possibly see Leonardo as doing a very bad impression of William Shatner? Oh, yeah. I could definitely see that. Donna, Tello. Please, make out with the readings. Why, well, yes, Captain. <laughs> really? That, that would be funny. I can imagine every girl on that ship would probably look like April O'Neil. Just with different hair colors. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of y'all. Y'all are pain in my ass. Y'all are pain in my ass since the first half of this playthrough when I was going through time. Now I'm just simply going to wipe you out from existence altogether. Sounds like a fair trade. I thought you see things my way. Because I don't like any of you. Yeah. Of course, you want to be careful here. You don't want to dash. And you simply don't want to get hit while, while you're at it. But what I usually do... 
get rid of them just like that. Because when we actually get here, you will see we are damn near the end of this game. Ah, you bastard! Burning my, burning my pinky like that! You burned my bunions, you little fuck! And so, we face the, the most annoying boss battle ever known. Krang and his UFO. I'll tell you why he's annoying. Not only does he fire bubbles at you, and not only does he teleport, but he drops those little mobile crab units at you. So the one thing you want to do is you want to get rid of this fucker fast. Oh yeah, the worst thing you can do is gloat at you. You know why? Because I really hate that. I really hate you, Frank. Really. I really do hate you. I hate you, Avengers. Actually, I hate you more than Chris Thorne does. I hate you more than I hated Chris Thorndike from Sonic X. Actually, I hated you more than Shinji Ikari from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Actually, I hated you more than Captain Planet. Because Captain Planet was a douche. And when Captain Planet's a and when the only known superhero of this time frame was a douche during the 90s, we knew there was going to be hell to pay. We knew we were in trouble when we saw Captain Planet. Because the show had no real value. Oh yeah, his last resort. He wants to sandwich you. And he teleports away from us. So he gets a little faster. But that doesn't stop us from beating his ass. So with that, we're going to go back into the past. Well, really the present. He's going to take us back to the past. Well, actually, we're being thrown back to the present, but who gives a shit? Technodrome, the final shell shock. Indeed. We're going back to 1992. Wow. Good to know good things age well. So now that we are here, it's throwdown time. Again, I ask the question, why didn't he do this during Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles 2? Not a real hard boss. All he does is bring your ass. The fireball is an instant... Instant kill. And really... He's not such a hard boss. Because if you know how to attack him fast, well... You can actually stop him from using most of his attacks. Of course, if you know how to do that, right? I usually just attack him when he... Starts go when he starts going to ice mode. But I never, I rarely attack him when he goes into fire mode. Or Hadoke mode. But as you can 
DC, if done right, if done right, he will be no more. Because all he's doing is, he's pulling Akuma, that's all. He's pulling an Akuma and a Gill. And of course, the Shredder, I don't know what the hell happened, but... The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles return to Statue of Liberty where it belongs. So with that, that is it. That th that pretty much ends the TMNT. Um, this pretty much ends the TMNT arcade game, or the arcade series, rather. So with that, um. I'm glad that most of you liked this um, series. I'm glad that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was a big staple in our in our lives growing up as kids. And well, I'm actually proud to be a turtle lover. So since we have our credit rolls, we're going to have our cast of characters. So this has been Pookie Izzy 7, the underdog of the underrated. And um, stay tuned for my 500 video special. Which happens to be Final Fantasy. I'm going to do a little switch here, but hey, only you people will know. So stay tuned. Also, I want to point out for Final Fantasy 1, um, well, it's going to be a little special because I'm going to put some names in there. I'm not going to tell you who they are, but I think you might know who they might be. Once again, I've been Pookie as you seven. Warrior, yes, yeah, Stone Warrior with an O, not an A. And this has been Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time. Thanks for watching. And with that, I bid you all a good night, a good day, and a good wherever you are around the interweb. <laughs>